to the gantry where this evening waiting for us are Ali McCoist and John Champion. And your take on this one, guys? Well, I think the first thing to say, standing high on the gantry here, overlooking this magnificent stadium, is what a treat it is to be at one of the showpiece occasions for this and pretty much every English season. But, Ali, let me draw you on the team news. The boys have been discussing it. Five changes for Liverpool. Is that a diabolical liberty? Or is it just being pragmatic in the modern game? Well, uh, uh, time will tell, John, to be quite frank. We are, I think Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp and especially will uh, believe that they have a strong enough squad to rotate. Uh, having said that, uh, but I'll certainly raise one or two eyebrows but amongst the Liverpool supporters. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And if you're sitting in the Everton dressing room at this moment in time, and you don't see Salah on the team sheet, you don't see Fabinho on the team sheet, and you already know Alisson's not going to be there, has to be a little bit of a bonus. Whether it's a diabolical liberty, I'm not so sure. But I mean, you take my point, in the old days, the Liverpool manager might have been run out of town for making five changes for the derby. Yes, I, I, I totally get that, I understand that. Particularly when you would argue that their the main priority this year is to win the league. I mean, it's well documented, they haven't done it for the best part of 30 years, which for a club at Liverpool is actually unbelievable. So it's so important that they do um, continue the vein of form that they've been. But listen, the fact of the matter is, they've dropped two points this season, that's all they've dropped it at Old Trafford and the draw. They are looking unbelievable. So even with, which, which can only be described as a weakened side, it is a weakened side. He still finds a lot of Now we have this new tool, the Opta Win Probability, which allows us to analyse the likelihood of a particular result in tonight's match. And if we look at the stats, the figures, uh, the Opta Boffins have come in with the thought using past results, history, recent performances. Uh, they will add to the mix things like red cards, goals in the game, the amount of time that's been played. They think that Everton have got a 13% chance of winning. Don't ask me about the precise formula that's been used to come up with that figure, but does that pretty much reflect Everton's chances in your view? Absolutely. There's, there's no doubt about it. We're talking about a side that hasn't won here. I don't think they've won in 20 years here. You look at the league table, that doesn't lie. After 14 games, 26 points behind Liverpool at the top of the league. You know, Liverpool are, un as I said, they're extremely dominant, particularly at home. The only thing you would say, if you're looking for, you know, for goal for Everton, Clearly one or two changes, particularly the goalkeeper I feel, because the evening came in and I don't think looked particularly comfortable when they come on against Brighton, I have to inform you that. But at the same time, you know, these statistics don't lie, and I, I, I think, you know, 13%, something might argue it might be too count. And just a quick one before we throw it back down to Gabby. What's happened to the Barnes? I gather you had a bit of an accident in a Turkish barber. I did, I had a disaster in the Turkish barbers. I went to my usual barber, John, thanks very much for asking on here, and, and, and I, I asked for a normal one, and they gave me a number one. But uh, I won't be getting back to that Turkish bar, but just in case you're wondering. There you are, Gabby. You know it as well as I do, and most people do. Nothing is straightforward with McCoy's. No, it is, and it's going to feel the chill tonight as well. It is a, a wonderfully crisp evening here at Anfield.